So I've been playing a bit of fruit battlegrounds recently, and what I always notice is people walking around with all these mythical fruits. I just got one of the best fruits in fruit battlegrounds, and guess what? I got random fruits. It's one of the rarest fruit in the game. I'm just feeling so lucky getting this fruit. I want to share this luck with you guys. I wish you all the best. Consider this video as a wishing well. Drop a like, subscribe, turn on the I've been getting sick of all these gear five users. I'm, I'm stuck in place. Am I being hit by the Luffy ult, bro? Oh my. There's two of them! So I've just been cooking some devious tactics with fruits that are not viable whatsoever. But that's when I realized there's actually like some real usage with some of these fruits that nobody really uses. But like, let me get into it. Dark fruit is actually like controversially good. Uh, unlike the other fruits I'm about to talk about, there's some people out there that think dark is really good. Not like the other ones I'm about to talk about. People say they're garbage, but the dark fruit has huge AOE attacks, high damage projectiles, and an absolutely free combo starter, so the user can just dish out some completely stupid combos and damage. Kuro Uzu, or you know, whatever, the pull move, is a cursor move that bypasses block and just yoinks your opponent, so when uh, used right after a liberation, uh, sort of a setup, it's free damage, basically. Uh, you can dash into that with like a black hole into dark world combo. Not to mention you could easily use dark hall to start combos if you get close. So, something I also think a lot of people aren't realizing is if you use your black hole to suck up the max amount of terrain, which is six pieces of terrain, your liberation will fire out its max amount of projectiles, all of which hit for a ton. So if you use it right, you're putting out crazy damage. The one thing I will say you'll have trouble using is the ultimate dark end because you have to charge that up for a long time and it's unrealistic to get that max charge off but usually when brain dead people are fighting you they'll just hit you which stops the charge and like immediately fires the attack so they end up getting hit by themselves otherwise they just run away and ignore the attack altogether but if they're at like mid range they get caught up in the vacuum of the attack so it'll catch them off guard at times it hits them anyway but uh, definitely use this in team fights though and have your homie tank attacks while you charge that shit up like a spirit bomb. Yeah, that works too. Next fruit I want to talk about is the gas fruit. People will swear up and down this fruit is trash, but let me tell you, this fruit is great if you actually know how to use it. People look at the blue sword small, attack radius, suffocations, tiny hitbox, combustive gas, really slow projectile speed, and relaxing gas is just overall, it's kind of just mid. But you're judging it at face value because, man, if you can just utilize the combo potential of this fruit, you are cooking something crazy. Your biggest challenge is getting that combo started. Uh, it'll usually start with like a close range combustive gas so you can mitigate that slow projectile speed weakness. But once you hit that, do a full M1 combo, fire suffocation where they're a battle land so that hits them right away props them back up and deals damage. And because suffocation keeps them up in the air long enough, you can set up relaxing gas. So go ahead and do that now. And as they land, hit another M1 combo. As you knock them back, dash into a blue sword. By then, if you're really him, or if you're just juggling them against a wall, you should be able to keep extending that combo like that for a while. Something to keep in mind is as they are sitting in the middle of this relaxing gas as well as the gas room that's left by combustive gas and blue swords like small ring of fire they're, they're gonna be stuck in all of that during this combo so while you're just comboing the life out of someone they're getting stacked with damage over time and their health bar will just melt and if you can't really use this fruit like this honestly it's, it's kind of just a skill issue at that point but if you can pull off the text right you get rewarded a lot so it's actually pretty great now you guys you guys are gonna think I'm insane for this, but let me cook, okay? So, the chop fruit. It goes hard, okay? Everything in this kit is a combo extender for the right user. You can start your combos with most of the moves in here, and you just need to be able to react fast enough to capitalize on those brief windows of opportunity. The combos you can execute with this are absolutely stupid, especially if you have a wall, but even in the raw, your combos will extend for a really long time. Now how you start your combo should be dependent on how your opponent defends themselves. If they block a lot, hit them with the grab, that breaks their block immediately. Go into your festival, it should be still near you, you could Soru up to them, do another M1 combo, land a cannon, 
if they are close enough, dash in for more M1s or just use your chop card, finish them off there. If they aren't blocking and just keep spamming jump to dodge a cannon and grab, which happens a lot, I like to Soru and jump so you get that extra jump height. Get like right over them, jumping over whatever attack they're about to use. You'll interrupt it using Festival because uh, Festival has a really big like radius. Once I finish my Festival, I'll land on them, do a full M1 combo. Use my grab, bring them right back, another M1 combo into a cannon. I'll dash up for more M1s if they're close enough, or if not, I just pop car and hit them. Also, I don't know if you've ever used car in this game, or if you've ever fought against car, but it has the most jank hitbox in game, and you'll land it way more often than you should, which makes it a great tool to just bullshit your opponent and get lots of free damage in. It's huge. Also, if you hit a piece of terrain at like just the right angle, you will fly like into the atmosphere, like straight into the sun. And that's great for when you can just like land and power bomb your opponent from the sky, which they never expect, so that's great as well. One of the most reliable combos I think I've found is just dashing in, landing your M1s, cannon, Soru into more M1s, grab them, M1 combo again, and then cannon this man. And just keep it rolling for as long as you can. Keep keep going off cannon. M1, grab, M1, cannon again. Now you might have some trouble at first landing your cannon and grab in neutral because the hitbox is tiny, but when you use them as combo extenders, that won't matter. So if you just land your festivals, you've got your opening every single time. Also, be careful not to use grab in the air because it's really easy to drop the combo because you will start falling before them. So I, I don't tend to use it though, but in the air, cannon's always pretty good. Now the only problem with Chop that I will acknowledge is you don't have anything carrying you so when someone else you're fighting has the freest attacks in game that will like auto lock teleport guard break you, you just have to skill differential them, okay? You, you just, if you're getting beat by Chop when you're using a mythical, it's, you're just bad. I've beaten people with way higher levels and way better fruits. I'm talking mythicals, probably like a hundred levels above me. And I, I know they feel bad after that. All it took was a little bit of practice and a whole lot of trolling. That's why I believe the chop fruit is the most underrated fruit in game. That's all I've got for now though. If you guys enjoyed this video and wanted to call me a sped in my comment section, feel free to do so. I read all my comments. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, I look at those as well. And if you guys want to see more Fruit Battlegrounds content, show this video some support. I'll make sure it gets pushed out. And yeah, see you next time. Have a good one. You're so freaky ass,